What's up guys, Oblivious here, and today we are going to be doing another Black Ops 3 Best Class Setup video. It's been a while since I've done one. I don't really like do them like weekly or anything like that. I kind of just do them when I realize like, holy shit, like if, with all like the updates and stuff in the game, I kind of just like do them whenever I feel like they're necessary or like a new gun just seems really like a lot better than all the other guns. And today we're going to definitely be doing the Razorback. And if you remember, guys, if, I don't know if everyone here played the beta, everyone watching this video I mean, but like when the beta was out, I feel like the Razorback was one of the like, I think it actually was, like, the best gun in the beta. It was just so fucking good. I remember, like, literally everyone used it. And I, I was like, wow, this is going to be the best gun in the game. And then, like, when the game came out, there was a lot of other guns that were, like, pretty, like, evenly matched or anything like that. And then with all the updates and stuff like that, like, people started liking the CUDA, the, 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 what's it called? The VMP. The VMP and the Vet. The Vesper was, like, the, the Vesper and the VMP both had, like, their, their, probably like a month or two where they were like the best smgs in the game and like the most used but then they started increasing like recoils and different decreasing like just a bunch of random like decreasing damage and a bunch of shit constantly updating like for everything so all the guns are constantly like changing around for like the, on the power and stuff like that so now they're pretty much getting to a point where like there's not really like you can use i mean i i, I always thought this in this game anyway but you can use basically any gun and they'll all be pretty good like i feel like the majority of the guns in this game are probably pretty evenly matched, honestly. Like, if I go up with someone with a CUDA versus, like, a Faro, I honestly feel like I, the CUDA's probably better in that circumstance, but, like, I don't feel completely, uh, like, overmatched or undermatched when I go into these, like, gunfights and stuff like that, because I, I thoroughly enjoy using... Let me check all, all... Like, here, I'll check it actually right now of all, like, the different, um, SMGs and stuff like that, and I'll, like, decide, like, if any of them are actually, like, shit. So, some machine guns, the CUDA, the VMP, the Weevil, the Vesper, the Pharaoh, the Razorback, and the uh, HG-40. I don't have the HG-40, so I can't talk about that, but the Razorback is really good. The Pharaoh is really good if you use the right attachments for it. Uh, the Vesper is really good if you have, if you use, like, the Varix or, like, Grip or something like that. And can actually, like, make it so you can, like, uh, handle the intense recoil that it has. The Weevil apparently has, like, I remember using the Weevil originally. That was, like, my favorite gun in the game. So that gun's always been good, and then like the VMP and the CUDA, as I said before, like so. I mean, the, all the basically every single SMG in the game is very usable and pretty much on the same like level or whatever. So, but now we're actually going to be we, we kind of got sidetracked there, but now we're actually we're talking about the Razorback class setup that I have in this gameplay, and I believe I go 76 and 12 or 76 and 14. Um, I don't think I show it actually, and I, I was trying to look for it, but I couldn't find it actually because this is actually in theater mode. I record most of my gameplays now in theater mode because. I use a Hapag HD PVR gaming edition that was like from probably about two. Years. I've probably had it. I've actually had it for like four years now. So I and I think there might be a little like literally like maybe like a millisecond of a delay or maybe like I don't know how many like how, how many fucking like it, it, like fractions of a second it is. But like I feel like I play better when I don't have the Hapag constantly recording and plugged in like kind of like something between me and the Xbox. So then I just don't have it anymore and I just like to record off theater mode. Sometimes it fucks me over because. It seems to always not have the theater mode games of my best games. I don't know why it does that all the time, but it's done that like three different times and I, it fucking pisses me off so much. Like when I got my nuclear, I was so fucking happy that it was actually there because I would have been fucking beat as a beetle if it wasn't there. But after all the sidetracking, it's already been, uh, what, th oh, three and a half minutes. We're finally going to get into the gun. So we have three attachments for the gun. We have fast mags, quick draw, and rapid fire. I never thought I would be using rapid fire because I feel like it wouldn't do that much. But this gameplay, you can see, like, it actually, like, increases the, the, the rate of fire a lot. And it's actually, like, it's very, very good. I mean, you could probably trade out the rapid fire for, like, extended mags or long barrel or even, like, grip or anything like that. But I feel like the rapid fire, actually, it's, like, it's just really, really good. I was thinking about maybe, like, getting rid of, well, we'll talk about later, so the variation right now. But fast mag, I started using on all my guns because I just, like, it, it pisses me off, like, having to reload. I never, if you checked out on my, any of my other, like, um best class set of videos, I usually don't have fast mags for anything, and I don't know why I never did, but then I recently started using fast mags on, like, everything, because it's just so much, cool. like, I, it just, it's just so good for me, because when I'm constantly in the spawn, just running around, fucking people up, I need that quick reloading, it's, like, very helpful, and then quick draw I have, because I, I use it on the majority of the weapons I use also, because, uh, apparently, like, it just makes the biggest difference, and, like, if you watch, like, pro players and stuff like that, the attachment, like, the, um, not the, yeah, like the attachments they use, they usually only use like a stock and a quick draw. Like those are the two things they use the most often, I bet I at least see the most often. So quick draw actually makes a pretty big difference. I usually, as I, as I usually do, I don't have a secondary lethal or a tactical just because I feel like I, I like to go my main gun perks. And now I recently, I started like switching on by the perks so I could actually like go around and stuff like that because I used to use, um, I use Ghost still in the first, just for the simple fact I hate when I'm on the radar. I, I can't deal with it and because I'm constantly running around, it makes it perfect for me. 
And then I use Scavenger and Fast Mags. Of course, I have like the Perk 2 Greed. Um, fast Hands, I mean. Fast Hands, I really don't think it's actually that necessary for this class setup, but I just kind of was thinking of something else to use. I'm actually going to switch out the uh, Fast Hands probably for the, another th uh, Perk 3 Greed. I'm going to use Blast Suppressor and Gung Ho, or I would either use Blast Suppressor and Gung Ho or Scavenger and Fast Hands. It's really up to you, depending on what you want to do. Uh, I really don't need to... It's, it, aim faster after sprinting is the only reason I really use Fast Hands, and the only really reason I use Gung Ho is because I can hit fire while sprinting, which is kind of important to me, but I mean, I think it's actually... I would say actually Fast Hands is... The, the class that I've had at the beginning of the video is definitely better, because aim, aim faster after sprinting is way, way more important, especially if you're using Quick Draw and you have Fast Hands, that's really like... That just gives you like a... Uh, head up on the competition, so that's really good. And then, um, yeah, I said I also was using Scavenger, obviously, because if I want to actually try to go on like some streaks and stuff like that, you'll see in this, you'll definitely see in this game play. Like I, I'm just shooting a lot with this Razorback. I don't know why. Like my accuracy with the Razorback must be shitty in this game. In this at least like game mode, I don't know. Like I was just kind of firing around a lot. I don't know why I did it, especially in like this. I, I, I just remember playing this game and I was just kind of like going crazy, like just firing everywhere, like always missing a lot of shots, but then starting to hit them. I don't know why I did that, but it's very important to have Scavenger if you want to actually get like some streaks like I have what do I have in this game wraps uh, hater and a UAV if you want to get up to those like haters and UAV wraps with the actual guns that you have you're gonna have to run scavenger and then the last thing I use as I said is blast suppressor which I recently started using because I never realized it's that important but it is so fucking important I used to I used to only use gung ho and now I use blast suppressor I know a lot of people like would disagree with my perk setup that I I usually use this perk setup for like literally everything now like I, I I'm so I've I, I've pretty much stuck with what the like the same perks I've used all throughout Black Ops 3. I mean I switched it around a little bit. I started using Scavenger for most of the guns now because I want to start going on bigger streaks and stuff like that. And I want to try to start getting more nuclears. It's just like I, I don't know why I can't get any more. I don't know. I got like two in that one day, and I think I got one at the very beginning of Black Ops, and I just haven't been able to get that many since, and it's kind of pissing me off. But I'm still always going for them, so that's important. And then um. Uh, yeah, Blast Suppressor, I used to, I used to use Gung Ho, but Blast Suppressor is way more important. I've, I've discussed why in many, many videos of, like, how if you're in their spawn, you do, like, a double boost jump, or it's even, like, if you can hear it so much more, like, the, when you use, like, the thrusters, it's like, so, like, you can hear, like, a person, like, it's so audible, like, if you're, you can, like, you, even, like, I don't use a headset or anything like that, but I hear it through my TV when enemies do it, so that's how, like, big, big it is to, like, use fucking Blast Suppressor, and the whole fact about the UAV, and, like, the whole bleep on the UAV, and the ping or whatever, it's very important for that, too, and then, I don't know what camo I use for the Razorback, I think I actually have, like, some legendary camo that I use, I think in this game when I was using the light, it's called the light camo, it's legendary, it's, it's just kind of, like, it's nice, I, I, I obviously want to get, like, gold for the weapon, but that doesn't, the camo obviously does not matter at all. This class setup is honestly a beast. Uh, I don't know, it, I've played it, uh, this, I use the same class, I've only used the same, this class setup probably like six or seven games so far. This is my second game with it, the other one was like half a game that I kind of just tested it out with. I still did good, but not as good as this game, and then uh, I tried it out and like infected and like a bunch of other random maps, and it was, it was all, it worked out on all the maps, not just Nuketown or anything like that. It's not like only small maps it works on. It works everywhere. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit a like, rate, and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day, and goodbye. Comment if you uh, agree with the class or have any like suggestions about like what you, I, you, you like, I, I could do through the class, because I would also like to see what, how you guys run your, um, your Razorbacks or whatever, because I, I also like seeing that and trying out new things. So have a great day, guys, and goodbye.